Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of the month again. My beauty subscription boxes came. So you know what we're gonna do, we're gonna unbox them. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen inside both the boxes. I have shown a little sneak peek on my story for the rocker box for this month, but I haven't looked at the glossy box one. I'm literally so excited. So let's jump straight in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and give this video a quick thumbs up if you do enjoy. So let's get unboxing. So first off, we're gonna start unboxing the Rocker Box for November. As I have previously mentioned in my videos, this one is kind of gifted because I did win one of those like competitions on Instagram. Like I never win them, but apparently you do sometimes. So this month's theme is rest, relax and reset. I feel like before Christmas, this is what a lot of people need because it's gonna become intense over Christmas with first Christmas that we get to see everyone after COVID last year, so gonna be a good one but as usual we have the gorgeous pink packaging it's the lovely big box and then also, i don't even know what that stuff's called it looks like a shred of paper but it's cute though so up first we have this massive tube look how big it is this massive tube of the mud masky mineral infused double cleansing wash i have definitely got into double cleansing my skin i feel like it has definitely helped with my acne and everything this will probably be like my second cleanse so i do my first one where i take all my makeup and everything off and then i cleanse my skin to get rid of any extra left behind dirt and makeup and stuff i've used quite a lot of the mud masky products before i used to get a lot of them in my glossy box so it's exciting to see them in rocker box as well i definitely have enjoyed the products that i've used i've used like a post like face mask serum and stuff which i've absolutely loved so i'm really excited to try this so this is if you can have already guessed by the size of the bottle it's a full size bottle and this one retails for 34 pounds up next we have a product from symbiosis i think that's how you pronounce it. i've probably literally just butchered their name and i do apologize their tightening eye mask i have received some of their products before i'm gonna be honest i haven't really used them though they're kind of the ones that you get in like the tra travel size ones that you get like this and they kind of sit in your kind of cupboard or your drawers or whatever until you need to travel and then you quickly grab them it's supposed to be oh i was wrong this is a full size item so this is probably a very high-end like bougie product so this one retails for £72. Like what? What? £72. £72. This is like super bougie stuff. But I'm going to be honest, if I use this before my wedding and I look younger than 27, this might be my new best friend. As we're always trying to do our bit to reduce the amount of waste that we create and obviously make a better planet for everyone, we have these daily reusable rounds. So these are what you can use to get rid of your makeup and everything. Cleanse my skin with my makeup kind of wash or whatever. Then I'd use one of these to kind of just rub it off to get rid of it. I've used flannels, reusable makeup rounds all the time. I don't tend to use face wipes because I know they're not supposed to be good for your skin. So trying to avoid them with a the barge pile. So I'll definitely be using these. These are like a staple item that everyone should have in their beauty collection. So these retail for £6.50, so really affordable and you'll get so, so, so many uses out of it. It'll be worth your money. So up next we have from Bloom and Blossom, the Pajama Rama Dry Body Oil. I had to literally read the bottle about 10 million times to make sure I had that correct. Because all I kept thinking was like, bananas in pajamas, like the, the show we used to watch as kids. This is a dry skin oil. This is perfect for the night time. This is skin nourishing, super rich body oil. So I do use a lot of moisturizers. I don't really tend to use body oils. I never really come across them before until recently. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I guess in the back of my mind, I have in my head that I'm rubbing vegetable oil or like something like that on my skin, even though I know I'm not like, maybe that's just me being weird. It is a deluxe mini, so a decent size. You'll get plenty of use out of it. And this retails for £12. So I think that's actually quite affordable. If you only have to use like a couple of drops or so, then it go quite a long way because there's quite a lot in here. This is a 50 ml bottle. So you could take this on holiday. Like I think this would be nice in the summer. I think you're talking about summer and it's not even Christmas yet. Can you tell I'm like dying for a summer holiday right now? <laughs> And then last but not least from Skin Chemist, we have a Advanced Brightening Toner. I will admit I've kind of gone off toners just because I've had to change my skincare routine, but I do want to get back into them. So we have received a couple of products from Skin Chemist before and I have enjoyed them. So I'm excited to try this one out. So the product has collagen, chamomile and aloe, aloe, aloe vera. Once again, it is a deluxe mini size, but I think it's still a decent size. It's like ideal once again for traveling, summer holidays, everything like this. So if you are traveling to see 
family over Christmas and you don't want to take like your big bottles of skincare products I feel like this will work perfect this one retails for $23.40 so another more high-end product but I don't I don't know I'm not mad getting high-end products in these boxes so I can't wait to try it this one out if you've been around here for a while you know I love these like mini tester perfumes because they fit perfectly in like your clutch bags or if you've got a small handbag something like this they work perfect so there's a little extra treat this month this is from El Sab and this is called Le Parfum, Le Parfum Lumine, Lumine, this is me pretending to speak French, even though I know I can't, and I'm all kill me, but it's fine, quick spritz, if I can pick it up, we can have a quick spritz, ooh, oh my god, what does that smell remind me of? I don't even know. You know when you have like a smell and it reminds you of something but you cannot remember for your life of you what it smells like? It smells nice. I'm not saying it doesn't smell nice. It's I just can't put my finger on it, but so this is this month's rock box. Overall, I'm actually really impressed with it. I do think there's some amazing products in it. Sometimes though I do feel like when it's all just like skincare bits, I'm like, eh, I'd love better makeup, but that's just personal preference but then I think the concept of the box which is rest relax and reset and you would remember it off by heart I think that it fits perfectly with it I definitely will get loads of use out of the double cleanser just here I'm really intrigued to try the dry body oil like I think that'll be something that will probably blow my mind because I cannot get my head around the concept of it just now but I'm sure I will usable pads I will use them to take my makeup off that's for sure and then also I'm gonna get into my toner I will I will start using toner again as you might have already guessed, it's time to unbox glossy books, as per usual. Oh, they've tied it a bit tight this month. There we go. Have you ever seen a box as jam-packed before? Like, oh. So on top, we do have two little treats from Thorntons. These are pearls. Share the delight. I'm going to be honest, I will not be sharing these with Alex. These are going straight in my tummy. Got a salty caramel and then a hazelnut one as well. Up first we have a quad eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. I have been using e.l.f. products since I lived in America. I fell in love with them over there and I still love them over here. So this is a really exciting one for me to try. I don't really use these colours often so I feel like with the seasons turning to like autumn winter I'm going to get more use out of it so we will see. Two matte shades so you've got your lightest one here and your darkest one here that's a matte shade and then two shimmers in the middle. This is really affordable makeup so it is four pounds so literally it's like a pound per eyeshadow and I know what you might be thinking oh it's really like cheap makeup but actually yes it's cheap but I think it's really good quality. Up next, we have some more perfume. Okay, this is really interesting. So this is from a company called Commodity and it's their paper perfume. It's also supposed to make your skin glow. I didn't realize you could do that with a perfume, but apparently you can. See, I can't tell if it has a similar scent to the last perfume I unboxed in the Rocker Box because that's all I can smell right. It is a deluxe mini size retails for £13. Up next we have a gentle cleanser. It's from E Cooking. I have had some of their products before and I've absolutely loved them. I think I got like a moisturising serum. It looks in the moisture so well. It is for normal to oily skin which is amazing for me because I have such oily skin. By the end of the day you could fry a leg off my forehead because it's so greasy. So I'm excited to try this. I'm going to try this. I think I'm going to try this together. So we've got double whammy for cleansers. So I'm going to have a most beautiful skin, I think, by the end of using this. This is a full size bottle and this retails for £14.30, which I think isn't that bad. A beauty sponge from Corina. I think this was like a secret blessing for me because my beauty sponge, even though I clean it, looks horrific. So I definitely need a new one. So this one is more of a shaped one rather than just the egg ones that you can get. So it's fatter at the bottom and kind of more flat at the bottom so you can do kind of normal foundation with it and then still pointed at the top so you can do concealer and anything like that where you want to be more specific. I definitely do prefer applying my makeup with a beauty sponge and this one retails for £8.50. You get different beauty sponges that are more affordable but we will see how it goes if it's worth the money. I can let you know. A hand scrub from Human and Kind. I have never heard of a hand scrub before. Like, I didn't even know these things existed. So this is in Butterfly and Raspberry. I literally have... Bet this smells amazing. 
but they feel so annoying, useless, pointless, plastic garnage. I thought, guys, we're trying to be good and not use as much plastic. Oh, that smells amazing. That does smell good, though. Retails for $12.85. And this is a full-size product. I just don't know. I, I don't know. I think it's because I have never really seen anything like this. That's why I'm so unsure about it. I'll definitely see how this works. And maybe I'll buy it again. And as an extra little treat, we've got some gel and nail polish remover envelopes. So 10 individual wraps. So this is great for on the go or if you're at home and you want to have a treat yourself to redo your nails and everything. So you just pop them on, leave them to soak for a bit and then take them off. Definitely we're trying these out. I used to, I have them like clips that you used to clip on. You used on wool or a cotton pad that's been soaked. You shouldn't pop them on. I have got them. So I'd be excited to try if these are like similar to them or just quite completely different. So this is this month's glossy box. Overall, I'm, I, I am really pleased with this box. You've got a mixture of makeup and also skincare. So like a proper beauty box. And also you've got a little sweet treat in the back there. Never going to say no to that. Excited to try the eyeshadow palette and then also the beauty sponge because they're something I would use daily. I'm still not sold on the hand scrub. Like, I think, I still think it's because I've never like heard of anything like this before. So excited to try that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing and let me know down in the comments which one is your favourite box or your favourite products from today's unboxing. I don't think overall I have a favourite box, they're just so completely different and they've got both got amazing products in so I'm excited to try all of them. Hopefully next time we'll have some festive boxes and that's going to be like super exciting. I did treat myself this year also to the Glossy Box Advent Calendar, I've been saving up for it with like my Glossy credits and everything like this. So I will be doing unboxing on that but I plan on doing Vlogmas this year so I will be doing that every every week i will include my unboxing of my daily treat from my glossy books i've been counter on there so until next time